There we are. I'm loading back in, but I finally can see a picture. Apparently it doesn't like a uh, windowed mode. So we'll be beginning in just a couple minutes. <laughs> no, he's white and I have pictures to prove it. Funny guy. We've definitely got a few interesting things to show you tonight. But while I'm waiting for a boot up, there is a new command called exclamation point and the word points. And basically what that is, is for every so many minutes, five minutes, I think, you earn a, a viewing while we're live on my stream. You will earn loyalty points. And those loyalty points in the future will be able to use in drawings. So save up your loyalty points, collect them. We'll have some drawings down the road where you can spend loyalty points for entries into those drawings. Also, there's a setting where if you are a viewer on my stream for 20 hours, you become a regular. And regulars start earning more points than non-regulars. And if you want to get some loyalty points and you haven't followed yet, following will get you 10 loyalty points right off the bat. So, while well, that's doll, being Viper. said, Thanks for the follow, guys. Stale Popcorn Farts has 19 loyalty points. Synchronizing, please wait. Who are we syncing with? Is it TC? I have no idea. It must be me. Holy cow. Oh, okay. There we go. Now I'm in. Oh, were you syncing too? Were you... No, I was already in. We were double sync. Okay. Let me find my little Volkswagen bug again. I left it somewhere in a field. Appear Apparently, all our equipment is left in fields. And nothing much up here at the horse farm, but there are a couple new residents to the horse farm. And I just wanted to show you them real quick, because there's one of the guys right there. You can see. Hey, KW. He's kind of cool looking. He's looking around and moving his head. Yep. Nice little horsey. He doesn't have a name yet. This guy over here, I still got to do a little work on, because he's really going to hurt his head if he keeps banging it up on the top of the stall there but there's another guy that's uh, in the horse farm hey KW how's it going and thank you all I'm on the new monitor so I actually can see what everybody's typing today down here we have a couple more white ones in the f pasture I didn't put more than four because basically all their heads turn and their heads bob at the same time so they look like line dancers if uh, we had more than the four in there. So we got one on each side and there's number four over there. He's having a great time bobbing his head up and down but it adds a little bit of life to the uh, horse farm. Yeah. <laughs> They are feisty. I can't slow them down or anything. They just move their heads. So that is the minor feature number one. Animated horses. We'll go back through everything probably at the end of the broadcast. And I'm going to try to pause every now and then for all these other guys that are streaming. Which we're doing a multi-stream again tonight. And I'm sure that my good friend Stale Popcorn Farts will get us a link for those of you who want to see different angles and different views of everything that's going on. We have a multi-stream link. And if you have questions as we go, feel free to let us know and we'll try to address them as soon as possible. S or if you have any questions about gameplay, feel free to stand up and say something and we'll see if we can help you out. Absolutely. Over on my stream, new feature number two. Look at this. What we did is we eliminated several of the gas stations because, well, they take up resources and they weren't being fully utilized. 
So, we added the nicer Shell gas stations to go with our nice Shell fuel plant. And the outside pump is where you will be able to fill up and get your gas. You fill up the pump here, you get your gas here. We also carried over the animated numbers to the pump, so we got 9,994 gallon, 0.88 liters. And if I fill up my car, you'll see. Scale popcorn disconnected. The last fill up is also shown at 14.50 liters. Feature number one, the new two, the new gas stations. Nice shell shop. Eventually, the gas stations will also be cell points for some snacks and soda and stuff like that as well, hopefully, if all works well. And I'm going to be bouncing around quite a bit with all the internet lag that I have here. And over here, next to the gas station on the farm, we have a new car wash, which will go kind of crazy as soon as we enter it. But we imported the car wash mod. You get a nice clean wash. Watch everybody else's money go down while you're on a server a little bit for cleaning your car. And pull out all nice and clean. There are three new gas stations, each with uh, car washes, and we'll show you those as we're going. Downward. Onward. Well, so tonight we're testing a lot of new mods. Uh, number one that we're testing, which did need a tweak for server play, is the field status. As you see, I can hit F12 and watch everybody's frame rates go down. And it'll bring up just the fields, because I already preset it for my farm, which is the red farm. It's working well. We have it set to manual updates, so not everybody gets lagged out by constant auto updates of 100 and whatever 20 some odd fields but it's working so far very well and it did need one map edit to get it to work with the map in multiplayer but I believe if correct me if I'm wrong Big Daddy you tried it on the standard map in single player and it was fine correct yeah I, I used it in Bjorn Holm and it was it loaded up no problem um, and you know we had a little issue here but some of have a little issue. I think if you load it up in single player and do a save, it should be okay. I just think it might have a little hiccup in dedicated server, but so then that's why we're we're going to test it, and you know if we recommend it, we'll recommend it. But you know we're still we just started with it last night, and hopefully get all the bugs ironed out. We'll see though. As you see here, also we've been testing. We tried the <laughs> the. Uh, drive controls with the new lanes on and everybody was making a complete mess of the map accidentally. Apparently uh, you can't just set, shut it off for the server without everybody having to do it individually in their own files so we ended up turning it off and no longer there. And I'm skipping along at 130 ms so bear with my uh, choppy stream but I think it has something to do with a fast race car spinning circles around me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's see. Now, what is over here at the Blue Farm? Danny does have one of the new... And a lot of these mods were suggested by you guys as well. Somewhere around here, we have the new harvester, right? Oh, it's I know yes, where he put it. Is. He put it over in his other barn by the shell station. Let's go over there. Yeah, there's a new potato and sugar beet harvester in the map, and, and uh, some new added items to those harvesters. We're not going to mention what they are just yet, but uh, we have the the new harvesters in, and we're going to test those guys out. I'm just wondering why the heck I have 130 ms all of a sudden. Who else is broadcasting on my? What are they watching on the internet? You probably don't want to know the answer to that. Yeah. Teenagers. Only... No, who knows what it could be. Kittens. They're broadcasting kittens. They're watching kitten movies. 
Uh, I'm not so sure that, well, the latest drive control we took off and we put back up the one without lanes because of that issue. And uh, But this one does have the little pull up along the trailer you see in the bottom. Actually, I can bring up a cursor. You see right down here, if I pull up along a trailer that has something in it, it'll tell me how much is in that trailer. It's a, li guess a little bit lighter version than the others. That like glance in those which we know cause lag. We'll see. It. Maybe that's why I'm having so many issues. It's the drive control. The new harvesters basically are nice and pretty, colorable, same ones as before. We just using the colored versions. I know that one of you guys pointed us in the direction for these, and they are actually lighter weight than the ones we were using that we brought in on our server. So. When I say lighter weight, I mean the file size is smaller, less resources on the server, and you get all the fabulous colors as well. So things we're looking for, error-free as well. With the uh, folding head, which is keypad 4. So you get the nice larger head for doing your crops. not going to do any harvesting. Why? Because I don't have any potatoes or sugar beets. I'd just rather run over the guy in the little car with this thing. But those seem to be working well. Danny doesn't mind if I leave his harvester running by accident. You should see the hours of cleanup I have to do after I... Uh, do a preview show because I leave every yeah and it holds 50k Thernadad was that you? yes Thernadad gave me a whole list of stuff and we brought in a couple of them as well as we're testing many other things in the process next I want to show you where the other two gas stations are so we're going to zip over to gas station number two there's only three of the new gas stations they're separated. We call north, south, and middle. And I'm heading to the south one right now. And I'm being followed. This guy's kind of creeping me out. You have a stalker. I have a stalker. I'm just your chase vehicle. You look like a Baja bug. There's, there's a stalker. I'm, whoa! Uh oh, he's gonna catch me. Excuse me, but I have to spin around here. There. Little helping hand. Thanks. Really appreciate it. <laughs> so, we're heading up the hill to gas station number two, which happens to be at. I tried to place them, at least these two, in the north and south where you're kind of far away from farms. There's Shell Station number two. It'd be really cool if we could get the gas price to show up on the sign, but that's for a later broadcast as well. And car wash number two is right over here. Which we already showed you how car washes work, but let's zip into the walls with my lag anyway and <laughs> Fun stuff. I hate to see what people are doing on the internet, but I might have to take a break and see if I can kick some people off in a little while. They were supposed to leave tonight, but guess what? They all decided to stay home. To make my life miserable. It's getting pretty bad out here. The third one is over. Oh yeah, we removed something from the map as well that I hope none of you are too disappointed in. But we removed several things from the map actually. 
and the first thing you will notice it is gone because we just found that after the first few hours of play we really didn't have much use for it and that is the biogas station down here for selling wood chips wood chips on our map happen to be a very prized commodity as you well know so we find that we're not selling wood chips and voila no more BGA but we did put in a nice new gas station where that was no more biogas plant we do have the BGA whoa that would suck so shiny new gas station and, and dual car washes shiny new gas station here with across the street dual car washes on this one yeah we get two right in the center of the map we figured this might be a little more popular area so we got two car washes next feature over in the middle of the map is if you guys were remembering the bug that we oh actually we're gonna show you a couple things we got a dead person yes we actually ended up with a dead person this week on Monday at noon I think it was the guy died right on time is scheduled yeah on this map biogas is definitely underutilized because who's gonna do all the more chips that they need to make everything but over here at the cemetery like clockwork like I said we now have 369 hours of gameplay time on the server and our first dead person is now buried in the cemetery at 250 hours we got one our next one will appear at 500 hours and there's going to be a, some uh, slight changes to the cemetery again which will be probably featured in next week's broadcast as well but we're not going to give out any hints on that but let's just say the gravestones look kind of bare right now anyhow after we get through the cemetery I was talking to you about the new lumber triggers actually and I think I'll go over and grab a Volvo if I can find one on our map this new camera mod is kinda making me a little crazy at times but another mod that we're testing out as you can see and yes Jeff they do automatically shift all the way back when you start we have the new Volvos in which if you see I'm moving the what do you call it the saddle forward and backwards with the keys so you can shift your saddle f and I believe you can use this for the AR trailers and it also has the fifth wheel hitch as well now correct and the X key will la lower our third wheels down to the ground which is kinda cool looking good we always liked the Volvo that we had but now we got a couple extra features and you can use this for the fifth wheel trailers and the AR trailers with the movable saddle and the beacons all look pretty sweet interior view again pretty nice mod altogether mirrors are working let's jump out of cab and go pick up a trailer I didn't even post on the website any of the new features I forgot to do that today so they are totally clueless as what's coming a sliding fifth wheel thanks Thomas that's what it's called and my leg is called a sliding Volvo it jumps and appears five feet in front of me I have to go over to my sawmill and get some pallets of boards 
And as I was discussing before, the triggers for dumping the boards in each of the individual factories don't register on the mount filled correctly. They don't register at all, so it would throw off the numbers and people would get confused. So we had to come up with a solution. And that was to make a transfer station, basically a lumber yard, we're calling it. And the lumber yard is basically where you take your pallets of boards, and they store them there, and then you can bring a box truck to the lumber yard to fill up the boards and bring them off to the factories. And the box trucks will always register at the factories when you dump it in. And I know the box trucks is one of those things people want to see more than just the walls on a box truck. Right now, I'm currently kind of... who am, Oh, there they are. It's just a little lag. There it is. Um, we have plans. Unfortunately, right now I'm doing a lot of map making, so mod editing for the map aren't in my near future. But eventually, I plan on having flatbed trailers that... or bigger trucks that will show the products on the back as you load up from the different factories. So as you're loading, pallets will appear and that sort of thing. It's just going to be quite a while before we get to that stage. And Big Daddy will help us out with that as well, so who knows what he's going to be working on. Speaking of Big Daddy, next week, Tuesday, right after my... Tuesday map making class, he'll be doing a little bit of mod editing, show you guys that as well. I'm on the wrong side of this darn thing. Let's try the other side. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Yeah, a little bit of, we're just going to do a little bit of mod editing. You got the programs, if you saw Dave's stream earlier tonight, uh, about getting Giant Setter, Notepad++. Those are basically the programs you'll need for the mod editing class, but we'll be good to go. And that is going to be immediately following my Tuesday map making class. At 7 p.m. the map making, and whenever we finish, he will be coming up shortly thereafter with his. Come on, lag. Let me back up nice and easy. No, no, not like that, not like that. Let's try that again. Okay. Good enough. I got a couple pallets of boards that I'm going to slinky across the map to the new lumber yard. Check out those physics and my 130 MS. You know what? I'm going to pause briefly here and see if I can kick anybody off the internet. I'll be right back. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, so we're going to modify it next week in the modeling class, or mod making, mod, uh, modifying class, I guess you'd call it, um, is we're going to take that wood chipper called the wood crasher, and we're going to move that crane arm. Now, if you don't mind the crane arm, if you like it, you can leave it on, but at least for experience, you can come on and take it off the proper way and make sure that, that you have no errors in the log file. You can do it in Giants Editor, but just remove the arm, but you end up with some errors because there's some references in the vehicle XML file uh, where it's looking for the crane and it's no longer there. You'll get some errors. It'll work. But we like to have our mods air-free, and uh, that's the way we're gonna, we'll get there there uh, Tuesday night. Ah, eh, still a 118. We'll get there. The uh, troubles of living in a house with bad internet and lots of users. But I got a nice new monitor. Well, you mean for once my MS is lower than yours? Uh, yeah, actually somebody might have listened. I just dropped down in the 60s. I begged and pleaded. <laughs> Next time, throw things. <laughs> so could you please give me about another hour or so? Please? Wow. Okay, wait a minute. This ain't fair. Now my MS is going up. Congratulations. 
I pa- I, pa- I, guess I passed it on. Now I'm saving the biggest and most lengthy part of this for last, and it's something that, literally, I just started working on, and it took me a good par- portion of the week working on that last feature that's going to change things quite considerably here around Pleasant Valley, so hang in there. We're almost there to the biggest thing of all. Where am I? Here we are. New lumber transfer station. And you will see it's pretty simple. You drive into one of these boxes and it'll take the pallets off and it'll stack them over there right behind me. Watch this. Uh, go over. Boom, boom. Now we have four pallets over there of lumber. And if I go into the other box with the box truck, I could pick them up and deliver them to whatever factory I want. And it literally, over here, will hold 1,400,000 and some odd, 40 or something worth of pallets. And that whole back barn will fill up with individual pallets as you drop them off. So have fun filling that up and storing your boards. Right now we actually finished building everything on the map until t- till next week when I give them guys some more projects to build. But there is the new lumber yard. We don't have a name for it yet. There will be a name coming and we'll get a sign out there. Give you a better view here. Perhaps just a little building and a nice parking spot for the owner of the lumber yard right here. And of course, we get some more decorations on the map as well in a later stage of the map to spruce things up a little bit. But lumber mm-hmm. transfer point. Next is the biggest change of all. And with the biggest change, now that I see we've got a million people in the chat, or a lot of followers, that's pretty cool. Let's head over to the new and improved animal system. Our animal barns have changed drastically, and there were several reasons for doing it. Number one reason is with version 2.0, we want you to be able to do more of the creating your map yourself, and that's one of the main focuses. So, if you go into the store, and the other guys can pop up the store too, and go into placeables, we'll go over and you will see that I have a UPK cow barn and a UPK pig barn that are now placeable. Biggest reason for doing this is originally, actually, and if you go back to the store, we killed all the animals. Three regular ones, all the additional animal types are no longer in the store. But it allows us now to have animals on the individual farms separate. Thank you for the follow, Long Shoulder 2 3. It allows us to each have our own animals, yet they are the same type of animals. Therefore, the barns are separate, and we don't need to have three different kinds of cattle, and we don't need to have two different kinds of pigs. We don't need lambs. We already have sheep on the map. What does that do? It freed up four fill types, and we will not tell you what they're going to be until next week. <laughs> <laughs> but we have four new fill types, and uh, we have four new ideas that will be coming into the map. And we'll give you a little explanation on how this barn it works. It is not just a simple animal barn. Actually, this is a long explanation on how this is going to work. I'm going to go inside the barn, and this is the pig barn. You notice I have piglets, I have pigs, and I have zero hogs. When you purchase an animal barn, and somebody else jumped in the trigger at the same time, but when you purchase an animal barn, it comes stocked with 50, this one, 50 piglets. You need feed, water, and straw, 
as usual, with the piglet barn, we've got the water silo down there. You can fill up the water, and Jeff, Big Daddy, is ready with some bales. He can bring those over here and dump them in that square. These barns will take the straw windrow inside, but as well as out, you can dump bales directly into the box for dumping bales. And let's see if he can do this without messing it up totally. With that big stacker, who knows where bales are going to end up. Put your arms straight out and get ready to catch. Oh boy. <laughs> this is going to be one mess here. Hold my beer, going to try something. <laughs> bales in the box. When he releases They're them. right on the roof. Ah, go for it. They might slide off the roof. Ah, most of them made it. You might want to use a smaller stacker, but hey. He did pretty good. That wasn't a bad shot, actually. It wasn't bad. So the bales are in there. Unfortunately, the thing with the uh, UPK mods is two people can't be in a view trigger at the same time, but you can load your straw bales into the barn. And we are just getting beginning. So you need your straw bales, you need your water, and you need your food source, which inside is mixed ration. Mixed ration is where we're going to start off with most things. And as I said, you start off with 50 piglets. Every hour, there is a percentage chance, and it has it, there's a lot of random multipliers built into the pig barn. Every hour, there's a random chance for a piglet to grow up into pigs. And you might get one or two. You might get three or four. Uh, you might get zero. Several hours will go by without you getting any. This map, this has been on the map for, well, quite a few hours now. I've got 18 pigs, 32 piglets, zero hogs. Also, there is a slighter percent chance that a pig will turn into a hog. You just got to keep them fed with the ba three basic foods, the straw, the mixed ration. Well, not all of them are foods. But straw, mixed ration, and the water, and you, and you will start the process of piglets turning into pigs, pigs turning into hogs. The more hogs you have, the more piglets that can be born. So it's a pretty simple system, but the numbers are randomized, and there are several other factors built into the barn. You'll notice there are several food extra food types. The corn, the sugar beet, and apple are three different food types that won't even be used in the piglet stage. They're only used in the hog stage. And basically what they do is when you have so many hogs, it will unlock one of those foods. And if you keep that food stocked up, I think it's 30 hogs to get corn. And once you have 30, it'll start using corn. As if corn's in there, you increase the possibility of new piglets being born which then again recycles into the pigs and into the hogs. They'll grow up into hogs. Then it will unlock the sugar beets, and then it will unlock the apples at several hogs, thus increasing your production of the little piglets. And eventually, if you're so daring, you get to take the piglets out of the barn at any time. There's a piglet trigger right about where I'm standing, just like before. I mean pigs. You get to take the pigs out. There's a trigger right here for pigs. You could take them off to the market, sell them, or put them into one of the new uses we'll have on the map. But you must remember with these barns, you pull out all the pigs before they be any become hogs you're never going to get any more piglets and therefore you'll be selling off your barn and buying a new one so good idea to get a good selection of hogs up there before you end up pulling out your pigs for sale and maybe get some more make sure you have more piglets that are going to turn into pigs eventually hogs also, being the top level, have a death rate. It's randomized as well. It's much lower than the birth rate. But uh, your hogs will die out, so you cannot stop breeding animals to bring into the hog stage. 
very complex yet very simple to operate. The truffles, hogs create, I don't know if you, anybody knows about farmers using uh, hogs for truffle farming. Truffles are very rare. They're rarer than gold. So if you come in your barn and one of your hogs, and you will need several hogs before the truffles even kick in, has found a truffle, you'll be lucky. You might have several barns and not even see them. They're rarer than gold. It's like a 1 in 2,000 chance every hour for a truffle to appear. But if you get truffles, you get to go over to the little area over here where it says sell truffles. And a truffle will get you 50,000 Pleasant Valley dollars by just coming over to the truffle area and selling them. May do some added things, but I was running short on time and getting this, these silly barns ready. So I just threw a sign in there for sell truffles right now. Maybe have a little truffle gathering thing. But the fact is, you're probably only going to see one truffle in your barn lifetime, or maybe a few. But So basically, piglets turn into pigs. You can take pigs out. Pigs turn into hogs, which will produce more piglets, but you got to keep them fed. A couple of the more random things. Piglets eat less than pigs. Pigs eat less than hogs. The more you have of piglets pigs and hogs the more your food source is going to be needed so you can literally at the beginning of a barn stock up 200,000 mixed ration 200,000 water 200,000 straw and leave and come back in a week and they'll probably still be eating it because they're all the lower type animals but if you had 200 piglets 200 pigs and 200 hogs which is the maximum for each your mixed ration supply and your water supply would last you about two days so becomes a little bit more work in the barn when you get to the higher levels and outside we have the dump spots for each of those extra foods that will increase your breeding capabilities finally they aren't just sitting there doing nothing but corn is the first level, the sugar beets for the second level on the pigs, and the apples for the third food type. These are going to only hold 20,000 each, and they will be a little bit more difficult for you to keep up. You'll have to check them once or twice a day to keep them filled to get the extra breeding on your hogs, to get them breeding more piglets. That basically covers most of the pig barn. Now let me see if I can uh, run over to the new cow barn and explain a few of the different features on the cow barn. 90% of it works the same way as the pig barn. And looking back on chat, thank you for the follow, Squibby12. Over to our cow barn. Yes, I put them back in the same places where we had them before. Doesn't have to be. They're placeable. Put them wherever you want. You might even be able to turn them sideways and get two of them in here. Cows are going to work the same way as pigs, except for you have three levels. And in my cow barn, we have calves. Comes pre-stocked with 50 calves. This has been up on the server for a little bit more than a day, and I have 14 pieces of beef and three cows. Also, I didn't mention the pig barn also creates manure that you can haul away, and liquid manure as well. But... The calves are going to turn into beef, and the beef are going to turn into cows, and the cows are going to breed more calves, same way as the pigs work. And the beef can be taken out of the building and sold off, but remember, you're going to want to get at least 10 cows before they even start to breed calves in the barn. Once you have your calves, I mean your cows, you will start producing milk. And the milk tank back here on the barn has very little because I only have three cows. But the more cows you get, the more milk production you get. More manure production, more calf production. 
So instead of truffles like the pig farm, we have the milk production on the cow barns, and they have a slurry output as well. Both barns do. And the manure is scooped off the floor inside, just like the old barns in both barns. Manure is scooped off of the floor when it fills up. And we need some more mixed ration over here. Because there isn't very much. But they're eating. Cows for food types take... For increasing the breeding of cows on level 1, you are going to have... Your barley. Barley for cows, level 1, increases breeding. Once they reach the second level of breeding, you'll start using your corn, and they'll start eating that, increasing your breeding chances. And on the third level, you used canola. So if they're all stocked up and you have a lot of cows, you'll breed more calves. Get your calf total up. They'll get more beef. You can pull back in and load your beef in the trailer and haul it off to the store to sell or down to the fairgrounds. No, it is not possible. What w is possible for you to go in the store, sell your barn, get half the money back, and then buy a new barn, Gary. Gary was asking if it's possible to reload the animals into the barn for the people that don't pay attention and load all their animals. The load triggers are very slow on the barn, so you definitely have enough time to get in there, load up your animals, get out without overloading a trailer. But if you take all your beef out of the cow barn, you better have cows and pigs, piglets enough to start breeding more, or you're going to end up selling off your barn and buying a new one. Okay, uh, one quick thing is uh, with the animals down at the the fairgrounds. Right. The Ani cows and the pigs. Animals down at the fairgrounds have switched over to 300 pigs, 300 beef. The ones that you can take out of the out of the game, out of the barn. So people have to work together to stock up the fairgrounds with their barns as they place them. And you have several places. You can put the barns anywhere. We're testing right now. I think there's probably about eight or ten of them. They seem to be a lot less resource hogs than the old barns, even though they're more complex. Yep. So, Thernadad, the, uh, you now just need 300 each of the beef and 300 pigs at the fairgrounds and then you'll be good to go that we remove those extra fill types from down there so that's the biggest thing we have for you today is the new barns you'll be able to place them wherever you want when the map is designed finished the design work we will uh hopefully have it so you can place your barns on your farms and everything where you want. There is no maintenance fee on the barn except for hours of time you're going to have to put in. White Weldhart was asking is there a barn maintenance fee and basically no maintenance fee just uh, lots of labor. And other mods. So what else do we bring in? Oh yeah we've got a... We added... Give us a rundown. Yeah, what we added, uh, we replaced the Volvos, as you guys saw, with the immovable saddle. Uh, the other things we did were we got rid of the big New Holland Evo tractors, and it came in with a pack, as suggested on our forum site, as well as horse prontos that are now colorable, and are on, uh, you know, you have a color per farm and then some. Um, those are the, the key ones we added in recently, as well as field status mod. Yep the field status and here is one of the colorable pack which again replaced the evos we were using with colorable models a uh, lot of different options and actually the file size was smaller than the ones we were using as well so this is the four wheel eight wheel monster let's go to the mods page and show you the other models that you can get we were replacing these two here 
New Holland Diables with these four varieties right here. You got the eight wheel, you got the fat tire, Diable, New Holland, relatively pretty standard one, I think, 8320 and an 8435 with the tracks on the back, which I think we have one of those as well on the farm other than this one here. Those again, I think we're Thernadad pointed us to that link. Is uh, Ugly doing, uh, causing havoc in my stream again? Do I have to ban the moderator? <laughs> yeah, so we're adding in new mods and keep coming with suggestions. We really do appreciate them. We'll test them out. And like I said, if they, I don't want to say it sounds snooty, but if they meet our, you know, uh, what we're looking for as well as specifications, they're error free, or if not, we, something we can fix. We'll be more than happy to bring him in and at least give him a once over on the server and see how it goes. Yep, so right now, unless I missed anything, I'm going to do a little recap of what, for everybody that showed up late, and there's quite a, peop quite a lot of people watching. So we're going to go back to square one and we'll go through and show you the new stuff one more time. All three bridges are finally built. It only took what? I think it was two broadcasts ago, two weeks, to have all three of our bridges built at the lake. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I took a dirty tractor so I can show you the new car wash a little bit better. Yeah, if we didn't give the proper guy credit for the referral of the mod, we apologize. I don't have the forums open currently, but um, if you suggest one, you see it in. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, and... Uh, keep bringing them along. We, we always look, we are only a couple people here and it's always nice to have a couple extra set of eyes out there and you see something nice, don't feel free to post it up. Even if you're not sure, we, we'll, you know, we can decide whether we want them or not in a, on this server. Yep. Absolutely. These work good, look good, and they are lightweight, not too much memory, so they're uh, definitely great tractor choices. Get more options, that's the kind of things we look for. The water towers are in. I don't know if anybody missed last week. We have water towers that are purchasable and you can get water close to your farms at the water towers. They have to be refilled by pumping down at Culligan. I figured I'd just give you a quick glance at that as I'm skipping through uh, this area here on the way up north. Back to the beginning. Once again, I'll just run through. There's a new point system on the stream. If you type exclamation point with point, the word points right after it, you will see your point totals. And basically, it's a way for our viewers to earn loyalty points. The more you're in our streams, the more loyalty points you earn. And in the future, we will have some giveaway prizes that you can decide which ones you want to spend your loyalty points toward. So the ticket prices for getting into those raffles will cost loyalty points basing on, based on the prize. And the more you have, the more entries you can get, or the more drawings you'll be able to get in. And I'm lagging like crazy again. But that's okay. We're up here by the horse barn. Once again, just going to show you the new residence to the horse farm. And there's four new residents that actually move around a little bit. See, there's number one horse shaking his head. It's kind of repetitive, but, you know... He has some life to him, better than the other guys that are standing there. Number two, another white horse. He seems like he's a little upset about something, but uh, he's bobbing his head around. 
if you missed last week's stream as well, you notice the horse farm's a lot bigger up here, so you can get around the barn now. A lot expanded area. And we have a couple new horses in the barns as well. This guy here is looking around, checking out the area. As soon as my lag stops, whoa! Uh, third of that, here's the question. Uh, third of that asks about horses. Uh, so we get we get horses. Uh, he's asking about will they get the rice, cranberries, and flooded fields back then with nor four new field types, uh, four field types available. And Dave, I'll let you answer that one. You know, it was our first thought bring the rice and cranberries or at least one of them back but we have I have several issues with that being built into the map and I've tried several ways to get those back as cranberries specifically and what ends up happening is basically there's not a lot of places we could put them the fields for flooding and the biggest problem as well is that we're already at sea level down by the lake. So I can't do a cutout below the lake level to put the cranberry and rice fields in without you automatically being flooded. So the only other option for us to do was to do the raised fields like in our industries map where you uh, fill them up and it brings the borders up and fill them that way which is something that I really did not want to do. And with four fill types, we had several options of what we could do. And some things go in packages better than others, such as cranberries obviously would go. We'd need an output like a juice factory for, so there would be two of the fill types. And we ended up going a different route, if all works well. And I think everybody will be pretty pleased with uh, what we've decided to go with. And next week, hopefully, we'll have at least the start of that. Here I am at one of the new Shell gas stations that we put in. But, yeah, unfortunately, cranberries were a no-go at this point. So we put in the new Shell gas stations and the new car wash. Now we can actually see it take some dirt off of this thing. Andre's following me in his bug. Just pull into the car wash. We have an issue with a collisionable floor being disappeared there for a minute or something. It's supposed to be cleaning me. Is it not functioning correctly? Didn't really look very good. Well, you know, we, we're live testing, working out bugs. And apparently my wash trigger... Oh, no. I might speed Auto it up a little bit. Takes a little while for the cleaning in these new car washes. Not like the other ones drive through and you're done. But it is working. I think we're pretty clean now. There we go. Nice and shiny. Car wash number one is right up here on the map by the... Uh, right across from the horse barn uh, airport area. Nice look. We've got the new bridges back built. We'll take a ride across some bridges. If you missed last week's, well, I think it was last week, the excavator parks are in. They're all working. Everything that we put in is actually helping out. The car wash is actually a placeable that we made it fixed into the map. You can find it on uh, Mod Hoster, and it's the UPK car wash. I think it was on Mod Hoster. And it is a placeable that I actually built into the map for starting. Because the gas stations will be there at the start of the map. Can I get the AI traffic to pay for the fuel? 
the traffic on the roads to pay for fuel? I don't think so. AI traffic is its own little thing. It's just an animation. We're out here on the island. You're going to see this change quite considerably, too. All the bridges are back in. Ugly buffer moved in from PB15 Facebook by the server. And Ugly's back. Gonna go through the farmer's market here, which uh, is kind of empty. Actually, somebody did some grass bales. That's cool. Over the next several weeks, you guys are going to see this map transform pretty dramatically, little by little. But then right before release, we'll probably do a test run with everything from stage one. So you'll be able to see what it looks like with a whole new map from the beginning. Because as you know, we bought the objects. We've torn down mountains already and there's a lot more to come your fuel disappeared on you also just so you know that guy named Albert that's in my stream is me with the new bot that's running and so uh, my bot that I made that's putting up the little things there if anybody didn't know that gas station number two right here where the old biofuel place is, was is now a gas station and the biofuel plant no longer exists because they're used for our little wood chips on this map than throwing down and selling them and a double butt bay car wash at car wash number two right near the vehicle shop And Overmeyer and Borgus, thank you for the follows. And if I butcher your names, I'm sorry about that. Borgus Overmeyer. Yeah, that sounds about right. Overmeyer 36. Car wash number three and shell station number three is all the way to the south end. As well, I just wanted to mention any donations that do come in, we're going to try to improve our stream. My PC quality uh, streaming, cut out some of this lag, maybe get a better internet service eventually. And equipment upgrades as well as future raffles and all that stuff. So donations are always welcome but not necessary. And uh, with this lag, I might make them necessary. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm being followed. There's a guy in a white bug now following me around. Uh, that ain't me. Nope, that's Andre. Andre sneaking around. <laughs> Uh, real quick, while we have a little gear, I just want to explain to you guys. Long story short, notice my name, username is Big Daddy One Twenty Six Seventy Eight. Uh, long story short, uh, Twitch. I originally had two Ds in there, um, and I had to work with Twitch to try to get my username back. Um, finally, as of yesterday, uh, they got my old username back, so I will be switching back uh, to Big Daddy One Twenty Six Seventy Eight with two Ds in there. Um, I'll keep the old one around just for a little bit, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on the stream um, that if you follow me with 1D, that will now go to 2Ds, and uh, I'll be using that one in the future. Nope, all the farms still have their fuel stations, and that's why the someone was asking if Viper was, if we were 
doing anything with the fuel stations on the farms, getting rid of them, but nope, they're staying. And that is one of the main reasons why the, fuel, the gas stations outside weren't being used as much, so we cut down the number of them. And yes, Thomas, I did fix the chaff pile by the horse and cow barns. And uh, Bacon Warrior typed in, he had his game crash while attempting unload into a Flygel on the new Volvo. Had to move around to get it to start unloading. So, something we'll check into, Jeff. Run some tests. Uh, <laughs> we'll run some tests after the broadcast. Operator error. Could be, could be a uh, lag error. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, there he is. It's that whole transitioning from Canadian yeah. dollars yeah. to American yeah. dollars, yeah. Pleasant Valley dollars. Something got lost in transition. And here's the third gas station right up near the uh, mixing station. So you got north, middle, south. And they all come with car washes with the middle one having two bays. And thank you, Derpy Digger, Love for the, the $20 donation. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Next, uh, we showed you once, but I'll show you again the new... Well, there's our new boulders, if you ever miss those. Yep, they're going to be all over the place eventually. Did everybody see the boulder crushing demonstration down there? We could do that one again as well, possibly. With the new boulder crusher grinder upper. If anybody missed it, I could show it. But right now I'm going to run up to the, uh, get a pallet of boards. Second mixing station up north. Thernadad wants to know f about putting a second mixing station up north. You know, I might do something with the mixing station and overhaul, and that could be a possibility of moving them into the we'll have to see I've got a list of uh, literally probably a thousand things <laughs> that I want to do 500 of them that I can't do and others that I don't even have the time to yet <laughs> but as the map develops and we get into looking at what can be improved the mixing station is one thing that I think can be improved, so it will be taken a look at. And if that means putting them at the horse and cow barns, possibly, it might happen. Especially if I need the room to put in another building down here on the far south end where the mixing station is. Which, there will be more stuff coming in. Now you can get new PC equipment. B. <laughs> Thank you, Thernadab, for the $50 donation. Awesome. Apparently, my uh, donation bar on the top isn't quite updating, but all the money is going nicely into my Channel account, which is awesome. Errors, on my log. errors in your log. We'll have to get a look at your log there, Bacon, in a little while and see what hap what's happening with that. Because if the Volvo's an yep. issue, we'll fix it up. Yeah, those are the only two errors I found. Oh, did you post them? Yeah. Oh, those are the Miss Station Lua. Yes, they appear in the local... That's why one of the reasons why I want to do them an overhaul. When you're on a server in your local file, those errors appear. They have never caused any issues. But uh, they don't appear on the server log. When you're offline, those mixing station Lua, which is running on this mixing station, do don't appear at all. So it's kind of a strange thing. Okay. But uh, I don't like those Lua errors. They've never caused any issues to this point. But it's another reason why I want to do the mixing station overhaul eventually. And thank you, yes. Cantrell1953, for the follow. Can I move the biogas burner down to the biogas plant for us crazy people that think we have extra chips? <laughs> That's what Cave 
W is asking. You know, that's a possibility. Swap out the composter with the mixing station up north unless you finally add it to this version. The composter makes manure and uh, don't think it'll be ne it's really a starting game thing when you're trying to get manure for uh, doing fertilizing because you gotta have manure or something to go to fertilizer. Now I know a lot of you guys start out throw an extra few million but when we're starting the game we literally relied on that man those manure things to keep us enough fertilization fertilizer to get us going so I don't think that one will come out but we might have uh, something else up that way that I know that Marhu's new mixing station is placeable that one that has the three containers and the spout and we might look into doing that as well bringing that in I have to I haven't really played with it make sure it works and replacing it with those as a placeable because again that goes along with the version 2 overhaul of wanting you to be able to create more on the server than your of your own rather than us pre placing everything for you. Slurry makes more than enough to keep the fertilizer filled if you're a biogas freak. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> or if you buy a lot of cows right off in the beginning. Uh -huh. Somebody's making me synchronize. Sorry, I'm losing some frames. But it's just my lousy connection, which hopefully will make it better. I believe that's Bacon Warrior coming back into the server. That's okay. We're okay with uh, people like Bacon Warrior showing up and messing with the broadcast every now and then. I try. <laughs> <laughs> And once again, if you're not a follower, the new point system is up there. You automatically get 10 points just for the follow. Save your points for future broadcasts. And we do this one every week, the preview update. Hopefully we get enough stuff done to preview. If not, we just go over and recap some of the stuff we already did. But we've been working hard on getting new stuff in and getting this done. And why is it that I just dropped the pallet like when I'm 10 feet from the square? just to make things more interesting. But an anyway, I'm down here at the new uh, lumber transfer station, we're called Lumber Yard. You need to put your lumber into the lumber yard in order to pick it up with a box truck in order to deliver it to any factories that need to be built. If you, Just the pallets. Pallets get transferred here, you drop off the pallet, and I'm going to push it into the box at this point. It appears on the rack. I'm not very good at pushing things in the right direction either. Earn up those loyalty points by exclamation part points like Thernadad just did. And you will see how many loyalty points you are, and we'll be using those to get you guys into some drawings for some cool stuff in the future. Voila! Let's see, Viper said something. Also, how about adding two more seed masters to the seeds and fertilizers so there is one for each farm? Good suggestion. Thank you for the follows. But, yeah, that's a good possibility. Now, we usually just share the seed production, and usually it's, when we're starting out, it's a uh, load in, load out. But if, you know, I know people want to play things differently that way, then yeah, seed masters and fertilizer production. If you really want your, f I think I like that idea 
I'll have to see how I can space them out and fit them in here. But uh, we can add two more Furt Masters possibly and two more Seed Masters. What you won't see is me coloring them per farm, so only because six different colors is six different graphics that I'm already running one of for the whole case and that's the unfortunately the kinds of things that I have to try to keep down and in order to keep this file size small enough to run moving one of them to each farm well you know then you wouldn't have a reason to come down here in the middle and uh, if we ever get planes I want you to have to fill up your fertilizer. That's why they are runways there. I like to make people work. It's just the way I am. As if you haven't noticed already. I, I just think it's done well to have a sense of accomplishment when you finally build those factories or you finally get the products going for Piggly Wiggly. That's what keeps this map going. And if I made it so that it was an easy process. You'd be done with this map in two weeks and then everybody would be moving on to another one. So we do try to balance the effort put in with the, the fun factor and not make it an overwhelming task. But it will be overwhelming for a lot of you that try to play this in single player because it is designed for six or more players. We run 12 on our server. Actually, more than that even. We have a lot of floaters. And Butler10, thank you for the follow. So, just one of those uh, things that we like to do, make you guys work. And if you missed it early in the broadcast, one more time, one more quick run through. Maybe I'll remember to tell you something about the new animal barns that we didn't tell you. But the new animal barns are placeable. You get two of them in the store. Under mods, placeables, price is going to go up a little bit on them because we have to make it so that you don't make more money by selling off all your beef and then buying the barn back. But you get the UPK cow and the UPK pig barns in the store so you will be able to place them anywhere you want on the farms and have multiple numbers on farms as well. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> FS15 Butler on the Xbox. I don't think you'll be able to run our map, but that's okay. They don't take mods for the PC, and there's no way that I can create a map for the Xbox. So you're kind of stuck, I think, with uh, all the uh, built-in stuff that Giants has in the game. So here's one, the new pig barn. One more quick run through. Pigs have three growth stages. The barn starts with 50 piglets. Those piglets grow up into pigs. The pigs grow up into hogs. The hogs actually produce more piglets. And it's the process. We have 32 piglets, 18 pigs. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have a hog. Each stage requires uh, the bigger the animal, the more food they're going to take. The more animals, the more food they're going to take. So when you're down where I am with piglets and pigs, the mixed ration's going to last quite a while. The manure output's going to be low. Liquid manure output's going to be low. As the animals grow up, you can take pigs right out of the barn. But if I were to take all my pigs out of the barn and sell them off right now, I wouldn't have any that grow up to be hogs, which will produce more piglets. And therefore, the barn can become useless if you're not careful. And you'd have to sell it off and buy a new barn in its place. As they grow up, hogs will take additional food types of corn, sugar beet, and manure. Uh, yeah, nah, manure is not a food type. <laughs> Corn, sugar beet, and apples. At each, at certain intervals, when you have so many hogs, they'll start using. If you use corn, it'll increase the output of piglets being born. If you have enough hogs in there, and then eventually they'll start using the sugar beets. If you have even more hogs, and that'll give you another increase multiplier of 
piglets being born. And then with the third, which I think you need to have about 100 piglet, pigs and hogs in there. Excuse me. It's confusing with all these uh, animal types. Before it'll even start using the apples. And then they will, if they have these food types, you get extra multipliers on how many of the piglets are born. And piglets will turn into your pigs. And you pull out the pigs to sell them off. Also, you notice there was uh, truffles. You need to have quite a few pigs before you, they even have a chance to find a truffle. And the truffles are very rare. And if you're wondering why truffles, they're not the chocolatey kinds that we eat. But look up pig farm on just Google pigs and truffles or hogs and truffles. And you'll see that hogs are used to find these very valuable truffles way underground and yeah occasionally we let our farmers take their hogs out I guess and they look for truffles and they'll return if you do get a truffle it's worth fifty thousand dollars to your account but it's gonna be rare it's a one in two thousand chance buffer. every hour obviously the more pig barns you have the more chances you're gonna increase to get your truffles if you do get a truffle right now you just come over to this count corner and sell off your truffle and get your money and that's pretty much it for the pig barns, and the cows work very similar. Exclamation point period does nothing, but exclamation point points will tell you your point total. Okay, Gary Catcher wants to know, on the topic of eggs, would there be any way to add them to the UPK to possibly free up a fill type? No, it will not free up a fill type. But if eggs ever do become a fill type in the UPK, the reason being is that eggs are carried around on the person, and that's just the way Giants has it. It's a fill type built into the I'll Giants engine. The left channel and disconnected. But the uh, eggs, if they do get them in the UPK, we may have some new egg triggers and allow the factories to take eggs as well. Which is, uh, we don't worry about copyrights here. <laughs> Therna Dad said, can run into a copyright infringement problems for if I name the lumber company Georgia Pacific. Fact is, we have Pepsi, we have Kellogg's, we have Grey Goose. Grey Goose Vodka, we have Sam Adams Beer, and if they Lafarge. do, if they Lafarge Cement, they're all name brands, and if they do come to us, they will tell us to do one of two things. To remove it from the map, which I highly doubt they're going to waste the time on little old me. But most of the time, I would think that we're doing free advertising for them all the time. Just brings, puts their brand. And uh, most of those logos, if you look them up online, they say they're free to use as long as you're not using them to for anything that takes money out of those companies' pockets. And what we're doing really is giving them free advertising in our game. There are games that would pay to get their advertising into the game, so we don't worry about the copyright infringements until they hunt us down. And Georgia Pacific is a big lumber company, and we will have more about names of the new companies that are in here. There's several spots that need to be named, and we'll see what we're going to do about that. Calves! The calf barn, cow barns start out with 50 calves, same way, turn into beef, and now I'm up to three cows. The more calves you have, the more chance you get a beef. The more beef you have, the more chance you get to become a cow. The more cows you have, the more chance you get calves. Cows actually eat more and produce more than beef, and so on. And the extra food types for the cow barns when you have a lot of cows. And the first one kicks in, I think, at 10 or 15 cows. I can't remember what I actually said it for. But, and they do take bales if you can get them into the thing. All Both barns actually will load bales into this trigger here. You can dump your bales and somebody missed a little bit. But we have extra bales here that we can knock into the trigger eventually. There we go, and knock three of them in. So you can actually you load the uh, loose straw inside or drop bales on the outside of both types of barns. Cows 
extra breeding food. It stage one is the barley. I think it kicks in at like ten or fifty. No, I think it's ten cows before cows will start breeding calves. I think it's thirty cows before you can increase their breeding with barley. And it's probably something like 50 or 60 before they're increased and start using the corn. And you're up near 100 cows in your barn before they start eating the canola. And cows also produce milk the more you have as well. So the more cows you get in your barn, you have a milk tank that you can pull a milk truck up alongside of. And hourly milk production goes up. We have very little milk because we have very few cows. 240 milk. There are a lot more variables than I can even re discuss about the whole barns. And you're going to figure them out when you get them. But <laughs> as a side effect, actually, uh, when a cow changes stages, for instance, a calf is born, it consumes more food than just the cow being in there daily and when a beef is calf grows into a beef there's an extra consumption of food at that point as well so there's a lot of little interesting things in the barns that make them very randomized and it's their own little breeding system So that's pretty much a rundown. Any of your viewers out there have any questions on the other streams? I can uh, stop talking and let these guys say anything that they want. No, I think we went over it all. Everything we wanted to cover here. You know, new harvesters, some new equipment, some new features, and some new features they're going to see next week that are taking up the added fill types that we made available. Yeah, we have four new fill types, and we do have four new things that are coming in, and unfortunately, they're not cranberries. But I honestly think you guys will be very happy with our selection. So if we told you now, you wouldn't have a reason to tune in next week. <laughs> that makes next week broadcast mm, good. Nope, in-game cows are still there. This is just a little extra output for milk. All the in-game stuff still there. The only thing we eliminated, the four fill types we eliminated, just so you know, are cattle, which really was cows anyway. We eliminated calves. They're in the barns, but they can't be taken out of the barns. The only thing that can be taken out is at the beef stage, and the beef is sold off. So there's two of them. We eliminated the lambs. And we eliminated the piglets. The piglets can't be taken out of the barn. They have to grow up into pigs before you take them out. So we have those four fill types available. And, yeah, I'm a cold-hearted son of a gun. And you're not going to find out <laughs> until later. You missed the map making one. Will it be on YouTube? And what address for the channel? Big Chris. Number one, I highlight it as a preview. When you exit the stream, it'll be in a little box here, but you can catch it on YouTube. It should be done uploading about now. I haven't put the icon on it yet. If you go to the forums, there is a YouTube page. Actually, we can go over that real quick. The Dajnet mods, we're trying to get everybody to link directly to the new engine site rather than through the Facebook site. So if you're if you got links on your sites, and I know there's a lot of streamers that do, which I thank you greatly for, linking back to our stream. If you get a chance, no hurry, but most of you are linked through the Facebook site. The link that my Dajnet Mods thing, it's just a so much easier forums. It's an all-organization place for the PV stuff. The topics of conversation are easier for us to follow because they're in, in a forum format rather than all over Facebook. There are links on the top of that that will bring you to the YouTube site. They will bring you to our engine, there's our Wix site and tabs on the Wix site for all the videos nice and neatly organized. So it's just really tried to make it a one-stop shop book market. Also, most of you guys that are streaming us as well, you'll find it on the streaming pages. 
We have one set up just for live streamers that stream our map, and our viewers on our website are notified when you're streaming on a separate page. And it's also in a multi-stream link as well that they can throw up there. Oh, actually, no, the viewers aren't. Ours are in a multi-stream. But you do have all the pictures of everybody that's broadcasting our map that we know of. So if you uh, jump in there and check our website, you can catch these guys like Simulator Way of Life, which I see. Gary Catcher, uh, he was on there. I added you in. And if you want to be removed, please, by all means, tell me. And I won't. Also, I have it set up now that occasionally my station will be hosting these guys for their efforts as well. So if you tune in to me, stop by one of their streams, catch, see what they're doing. Usually it's on our farm. Sometimes it won't be, like Gunning Gamers does stream us often, but he's doing other games as well. Sometimes these guys try out different maps. That's fine too. But these guys do put in a lot of exposure for our map and jump in and catch and see what they're doing. And all their links are yeah. right in on our website as well. Were you going to say something there, Jeff, or somebody who's cutting in? Yeah, that was me. It's all good. You're all good? All right. Yeah, so anybody, uh, yep, Big Chris Farm. Do we have your link, your streamer name? If not, uh, send it to me on the forums or put it in. We have a streaming section down below. You can always post if you're going to stream something in particular. Just go right ahead and post there. And uh, let our viewers know you're more than welcome to use that. It's right live stream info down at the bottom in the forums. But if we get everybody to link to that same page, everything that we're doing is linked there. And it's been become a really handy deal. OBS was reconnected. Yep. Well, the la no, actually it was my stream in the beginning. Koboomba kept cutting off every 30 seconds of the map making class but we finally got it fixed out and fixed up and I needed to basically reset my uh, twitch key there stream key and I did record the map making session number one number two will be Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time followed by Big Daddy's mod editing he's gonna show you this week how to take the crane off of that yellow little Crusher. Yep, we're gonna take that crane right off that little yellow crasher there, and you know, even if you like it, still it's good. Uh, you know, we're gonna get your feet wet and not throw you in a deep end pool here and hope you swim. We'll we'll get you introduced to it, and there's something you like, then hopefully there's a mod out there um, that you always want to modify, and hopefully we can get uh, get you the education and uh, the know-how of how to do it yourself, which is the end goal. Yep, little by little. We'll see what we can teach you guys. And That crane there on this crasher that we're here along, we find it quite useless and getting in the way all the time. And he's going to remove it live and show you guys how to do something like that so you can get in. And it's just a beginner step on doing a little bit of your own mod tweaking, removing that crane from the crasher. If you like the crasher without the crane, hey, make a backup copy and try it anyway and follow along if you like it with the crane and if your mod works without errors when you're done then you've learned something <laughs> which you will probably be able to apply to many other things as you're learning how to do your own mods as well yes there's a calendar on the website of events thank you stale for posting that yeah if you uh are having problems of your stream cutting out every 30 seconds, try resetting your Twitch key. Your stream key. I think they're having trouble tonight, to be honest with you, too, because I was having the same thing earlier uh, with it cutting out. It says trying to reconnect all the time, so I don't know. Maybe it's a little Twitch they're having tonight. I think that about covers it for this week, everyone. Stop by next week. Thank you again for all the wonderful donations. And 
the uh yeah you guys are awesome and we're gonna put it to good use believe me and try to keep making things better and bring you guys some cool stuff in the future and I'm working hard for it trust me <laughs> probably about a hundred hours a week <laughs> But uh, as long as you guys are enjoying the final product, that's what matters most. So thanks again for watching, and uh, make sure you stop in Tuesday if you want to learn a little bit more about map making. The Twitch video will be up for today's class, which is starting on the basics. Tuesday we're going to do some terrain editing and get into that, and then we'll see where we go from there, depending on how far we get through the terrain editing. And we're going to run those twice a week until we get you guys to build your own maps as well. And I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So, thanks again for watching. And who knows? Keep an eye on our channel. You never know when we pop on and you get a sneak preview of something that we've been working on. You need a flat area for the UPK Apple has straight east of the cow storage the cow area well you know what's amazing is you're going to be able to do a lot of creating your own areas thank you KW and everybody for watching I am going to sign out and I think it's time for me to take a nap well that never happens but once again I really do thank you guys it's been great and we'll catch you next time <laughs>